Hey what's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this video we have a 17 inch ASUS N751J. It's a pretty nice laptop but it's coming with a couple problems. So a key on the keyboard is missing, a few are a bit damaged but the major problem is more than half of the keyboard isn't working. The cause is liquid damage, which I found later while disassembling. The hardware generally is functional, except the hard disk. The hard disk is painfully slow. And when I run some tests, I found that the hard disk life is less than 40%. This is actually usual with many mechanical disks after some time of use. Also while testing, the laptop temperatures are skyrocketing under a very basic use. Cosmetically, this machine is still okay. The case isn't broken from the outside, but many scratches are visible all around. Well, let's start and do something better with this machine and let's start with a full teardown and a few words about this laptop. So this machine is coming with 1TB mechanical disk, 8 gigs DDR3 RAM, the CPU is i7 2720HQ and the GPU is NVIDIA GTX 950M with 2GB of video memory. So the specs are still ok. After I took out the bottom case, I noticed some dark brownish dirt around the components on the motherboard and in some places on the case. Also, the laptop from the inside is a little bit sticky in some places, especially around the cooling fan, which assumes that this laptop was used in a high humidity conditions and smoking area. Anyway, all of these can be cleaned and returned to good condition again. After I took out the display bezel, I found more from the brownish dirt. Actually this is not a dirt, this is a dry coffee. So somebody has split the coffee over the laptop and that's why I found the same thing from the inside and that's why the keyboard is not working. But anyway, somebody has cleaned this machine after that. Otherwise, we will have more coffee on the motherboard or around the keyboard. But fortunately, this machine has survived that and we have no other serious problems. Removing the keyboard goes differently here. So this is not a standard thing to remove the keyboard like to the most of the laptops. We need to cut all the plastics that are holding the metal panel. So the cheaper option is to change the keyboard only and cross over a little bit longer working process. And the more expensive and also the easier way is to replace the whole palm rest with a keyboard. In this video, we're gonna change the keyboard only. Isn't that hard as it sounds? And we're gonna see that later in the video. And we're done with the teardown. But now, let's clean this machine. And first, I will start with the motherboard. Here carefully, I took out the heatsink first. Very dry thermal paste, knows to be like a glue, so I need to be more careful. 
Now I took out the protective plastic film over the CPU and I start with cleaning the dry thermal paste. To clean the thermal paste I used cotton buds, 96% isopropyl alcohol, soft brushes and a plastic sponge stick. Using something sharp or some metal things like tweezers or anything similar isn't really recommended. Most of the CPUs or the GPUs have a very tiny components on the top and these components mostly are covered with a thermal paste. So cleaning needs to be done very carefully. After I finished with cleaning the CPU and the GPU, I moved to cleaning the rest of the motherboard. So first, with brushes and compressed air, I cleaned the dust much as possible. And later, I washed the whole motherboard using a 96% isopropyl alcohol. I have done this because to clean the sticky yellowish dirt, which is all over the motherboard. Actually, I washed the motherboard a few times until it was clean. After the motherboard was dry out, I placed a new BIOS battery. And here we finished with the motherboard. Cleaning the cooling is going very similar. First, I separate the cooling fan from the heatsink. Now carefully, I dust off and I wash the whole cooling. So you can see how the paper napkin from white has turned to yellow. And this is mostly happening because this laptop was in a smoking high humidity area. Now I took the heatsink and here I only remove the thermal paste. The rest is going to be washed using soap and water. After the heatsink, I move to cleaning and washing the other parts and electronics. Here I use the standard things, like brushes, 96% isopropyl alcohol, cotton buds and napkins. And we are done with cleaning all the electronics. Now everything looks and feels much better than before. The laptop case, first I wash it using soap and water. And later I cross over one more cleaning using soap brushes, 96% isopropyl alcohol, soft napkins and compressed air. But now we have another problem. This is the old keyboard. And this is the new keyboard. So we have a different layout. The enter key on the keyboard is different and the shift key is different as well. But everything else is in place. So this keyboard won't fit unless we do some modifications. Now I took some tools like thermal, sandpaper and I start with doing some modifications.
Actually, I want to get a black keyboard instead of silver. I have a different ideas for making this laptop. The other keyboards that I found were with a pretty bad quality. So I choose quality over look. After I finish with the basic modifications, I have to fill the missing part on the palm rest. So here I used a small plastic part. I stick this plastic part and again I cross over a few modifications until I can fit the keyboard. And I'm done with these modifications. But now I move to taping the case. So we're gonna make some mod to cover the scratches and give some unique look to this machine. Also, I got a request to make this laptop in some specific colors with some specific details. Now I took a gray beige spray and with this spray I paint the whole laptop case. This is a pretty nice warm desert color. Now, I gonna cross over one more taping and doing some modifications. And as final paint, I used a gray beige mid spray, which is a bit darker shade than the base one. And as final, I used a transparent made spray. With this spray, I got an additional flatness to the paint, and also the paint will be more durable and scratch resistant. Also, to the palm rest, I add some white details because to better fit with a keyboard, trackpad, and hinge covers. And finally, I start with assembly. Now, before we place the final cover, I made a few basic upgrades. I add 8 GB of RAM more, so now in total will be 16 GB. And I add 240 GB SSD. 240 GB is very basic, but SSD will make this laptop run much faster compared with a mechanical disk. And as well, as final, I return the both stickers to the case. I mean, the i7 sticker and the Nvidia sticker. Now, I continue with installing Windows 10 Home. 
I go with the home version because this laptop has already connected a Windows Home license. Also, I have done some customization that will fit with the whole laptop design. And I run some tests to be sure that everything is working fine. And after making all these changes, this is the final result. Well, and a few words about this machine. This laptop now is working pretty fine, with no logs, no slowing down, no temperature problems, and etc. So this machine is good for most daily basic things, like internet browsing, watching videos or movies, listening to music, working something or studying, and also it's good for some games. So we cannot play some latest games, with some, I don't know, ultra graphics, but Many great and popular games using medium settings are running just fine. Well, and this is all about this ASUS N751J. This model is starting to be old nowadays, but still these laptops are good for many things. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope this video will give some ideas and inspiration to repair or upgrade some tech or some other stuff. Also, if you want to support my work and my channel, you can press the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.